All right, we got ourselves Hess's Law problem. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit complicated. I got four reactions to choose from and I wanna make this reaction with HCl at the top. So let's go ahead and start with HCl then. And I see some HCl in that very first reaction. Thing is, is that it's not on the correct side. So that means I need to flip it and it's not in the correct stoichiometric proportion. So I need to divide it by two. And so that means HCl gas plus one half sodium oxide yields one sodium chloride and one half water liquid. So it was 507 kilojoules. I need to make it negative because I flipped it and I need to divide it by two because I divided it by two in the reaction. Okay, let's take a look at sodium nitrite. There's some sodium nitrite there. But again, I need to flip it and divide it by two because it's not on the correct side of the reaction nor the correct stoichiometric proportion. So I got some sodium nitrite solid and yields one half nitrogen monoxide gas plus one half nitrogen dioxide gas plus one half sodium oxide solid. 427 kilojoules in the negative was the original delta H, but I flipped it, so now it's positive, and I had to divide it by two. Okay, so let's take a look at the nitrous acid. Is there some nitrous acid? Yep, there's some nitrous acid right there. So I need to also flip it and divide it by two. So I end up in this case with one half dinitrogen oxide gas, plus one half oxygen gas, plus one half water liquid, and that yields the nitrous acid. Now I needed to take the delta H, which was 34 kilojoules. I flipped it, so I need to switch the sign, and I divided it by two. Now it's time for some sodium chloride. But let's take a look. Didn't I say something about sodium chloride before? It seems like I've already got it in the correct location. So I've got the sodium chloride. I've got the nitrous acid where I want it. I've got the sodium nitrite where I want it. And I've got that HCl where I want it. But all the rest of the stuff that's written down there, I don't want. And so I need to cancel it out. I've used this reaction, I've used this one, and I've used this one. So this reaction will be used to cancel out the things I don't want. Well, let's look at the things that are already written down in the three reactions I've used, and let's see what can be canceled. It looks like I can cancel the one half waters, and it looks like I can also cancel the sodium oxides. And so what's left is the nitrogen monoxide, the nitrogen dioxide, and the dinitrogen oxide, along with some oxygen. And look, all of those species are in this reaction. So whatever I do, it has to work, and it has to cancel out everything in one swoop. So I think I'll just pick the nitrogen monoxide. It is on the product side of the reaction. And this one, it's on the re react the uh, the reactant side of the reaction. So that's great. That's where I want it. But it's not in the correct stoichiometric propor proportion. So I need to divide it by two. And so let's go ahead and do that. One half NO gas plus one half NO2 gas produces one half into O gas and one half O2 gas. And so now everything else needs to cancel if I did this right. Let's take a look. Nitrogen dioxide on the product side, nitrogen dioxide on the reactant side. One half nitrogen di dinitrogen ox monoxide on the product side, one half dinitrogen monoxide on the reactant side one half oxygen on the reactant side, one half oxygen on the product side, and finally, one half nitrogen monoxide on the reactant side, one half on the product side. 
So I've got everything where I need it. I got it in the correct stoichiometric proportions. And so this one was negative 43 kilojoules. I didn't flip it, but I did divide it by two. And so if I add everything together, I get 79 point or 79 kilojoules and it's negative. And so all now that I'm done, I know that the reaction here is 79 kilojoules per mole. And that is the final answer for that enthalpy. Okay.